Hey, and welcome to this edition of Road Warrior. I'm your host, Grant Robertson, and today we try out the 2013 Chevy Equinox. Now, when you look at the styling cues for the Equinox, this is standard SUV styling. It looks rugged, has nice chiseled lines. Now, by the numbers, it's just under the Chevy Tahoe, which is more of a full-size SUV. This is going to measure in at about 187 inches, about 13 inches less than the Tahoe. Now, overall, it's a little over six feet wide, five and a half feet tall, and has a wheelbase of about 112 inches. So what that basically means is you got plenty of interior legroom. What it also means though is that this is only a five passenger vehicle. Now whereas the Tahoe back in the day was just that, they did start to add a third row. Now on a vehicle like this, it's gonna be more midsize and it's gonna offer the trappings for five people only. Now from the outside, this is an SUV and it's nothing hidden about that. Now what I like about it is it doesn't kind of mimic the crossovers where you're having some more curved arch lines and it kind of looks minivan-esque. Uh, this is, has some square lines and if you look at the SUVs in general, like the Tahoe and things like that, they've all gone back to that boxy style. They got away from it for a few years and now have determined that, hey, that's the best room uh, and bang for, the, for your buck is to actually go square. Now what I like about this is with the uh, dramatic lines here, it actually kind of gives you a little bit of curves where it actually, actually goes all the way back. Now overall you got 17, 18, or 19 inch chrome wheels. These are 18 inch and you've got just a little bit more touch of chrome around. Now I'm not a big fan of chrome and you've probably heard me say that so when we start blinging everything out to me it's a little bit gaudy and here you have just enough. Uh, I prefer uh, non-chrome here. It tends to hide the bug splatter a little bit. You've got chrome on this one. Uh, down here you got rubber fascia instead of chrome. I like that. Uh, it, it helps basically kind to give this a nice rugged look. When you start adding chrome, it tends to be too blingy and too dressy. But overall, this is a nice vehicle and it's got enough length on it so you're going to stretch out the bumps and also again give you plenty of interior space. Now at the back of the vehicle, and this is where we spend a lot of time talking about on SUVs because this is where you're going to end up finding the Achilles heel on some vehicles. And mainly that's because it's either not easily accessed or kind of aggravating. Now on the Equinox, I find it somewhere in between. Basically it has an easy um, lift up hatch like a lot of these vehicles are having, one touch. None of this manual handle like back in the old days. Now what I like is you have again rubber fascia here. You've got easy access to the back. And of course on most vehicles on this one as well, you have a one touch down. Now while it comes down, we'll also look at the sensors. You've got sensors back here. Again, alerts you to anything behind you. And all these vehicles these days are coming with their backup camera. And again, that allows you to see what's going on when you uh, look towards the back. Now what I do find is you almost get used to this and you also get used to the sensors and things. So you almost don't even look at the camera because you're listening for what's in your way. This vehicle can also alert you as you're backing up for any traffic that may come in from the side. And I've noticed that when I'm backing out from my house, there's a busy road and it actually will alert me before I even notice a vehicle coming. So this is a big area that a lot of vehicles are doing right and Equinox follows that pathway. Now one area you also want to know about is the spare tire and this is something we sometimes look over. Now here you're actually going to have fairly easy access because you just lift the rear hatch and it's sitting right there. You unscrew kind of a quick uh, turn and it pops right out. Other vehicles and other SUVs sometimes have a crank where it will actually lower but on this vehicle it's sitting right here so you can easily grab it. Now wrapping ourselves around to the front, at the, you'll see on the Equinox the typical uh, Chevy bow tie right here across the front. Now on the GMC models, you'll of course find the riveted front grille here, which I like. Uh, Chevy goes right across the front and puts this bow tie big and center. Now what you'll see of course is the stacked headlight and fog lights down low, again with a little bit of chrome accents, otherwise you have body color fascia all the way around. And of course I like these body lines that add just a little bit of prowess to the front. It's not a flat, old looking style. Um, it's decent and you've got kind of a pointed front end again kind of that aerodynamic appeal and kind of um, knifing its way through the air but overall good design and it has a nice SUV like stance. Now in reference to power plants the Equinox comes with two options you got the inline four-cylinder 2.4 liter or you've got a 3.6 V6 option. Now the 3.6 is up from last year, where it was a 3.0. Now the best part about that is you keep the same EPA fuel economy. So even though they've jumped it up just a hair, you haven't lost anything at the gas pump. Now overall by the numbers, the horsepower is around 300 horses and 272 foot-pounds of torque. Now on the four-cylinder, you're gonna drop about 100 foot-pounds and you're gonna be around 
182 horses. So obviously the bigger power plant is always better. Now of course if you're looking for economy and don't care to get off the line real kind of quick of course you can go with the inline four cylinder which is always going to give you better numbers at the pump. Now the Equinox comes in either front wheel drive or the as tested all wheel drive models. Now when you talk about fuel economy, the front wheel drive of course is going to do better and on the inline four cylinder you're going to be in the kind of mid 20 range to 30 miles per gallon. Now when you of course go to the all wheel drive version you're going to lose a couple of clicks. Um, as for the V6 in comparison you're going to be in the high teens around 17 to 20 miles per gallon. So obviously you're losing a little bit of fuel economy on the V6, again it's still better even though we've jumped it up to a 3.6 liter it's still the same fuel economy as last year. Now once you climb inside the Equinox you'll find that comfort is ab abundant and what I'm referring to is legroom. Up front you of course got about 41 inches which is stereotypical across any SUV and any, any vehicle in general. As long as you've got about that much there's plenty of room to stretch out. Now in the back that's usually the Achilles heel of any SUV and here it's not. You only drop about two inches to the back around about 39 inches of legroom and that's plentiful and that refers to basically to anyone having plenty of comfort anywhere they sit. Now on the inside of the Equinox, this is um, great styling cues that I like. Uh, this is the LTZ model, so that means you're going to get the heated seats, you're going to get the power adjustable options. Uh, you got all the trappings of a high-end SUV that you're looking for. Now, of course, if you want to save some dollars, you can downplay that. Now, on the screen here, you, of course, got the uh, navigation and touch screens. And again, I've talked about this before on similar models, that the stretch here is a little bit far to actually touch those buttons, um, but overall, it works well. Now, one thing I did notice is that the climate control is right here. This is actually an area that I prefer the volume because I typically actually associate this more with volume. Um, but other than that, once you actually figure out where everything is, it's actually fairly simple to run. Um, but overall, the vehicle has exactly the styling cues you want to be looking for. Now, what I did like on this vehicle is the gray and white tone. Um, there's no metallic finishes, there's no wood grain, uh, nothing that's going to date this vehicle in a couple of years. So it's a nice regal touch and everything is exactly where you want it to be. Now this does it for this edition of Road Warrior. I'm, of course, your host, Grant Robertson. We tried out the 2013 Chevy Equinox. Now what we like about it, of course, is they've upped the 3.6 liter uh, engine. You get, still get good fuel economy on that. And of course, you're sitting on a nice overall sport SUV package. Now again, we'd like to thank you for watching. And as always, keep both hands on the wheel and eyes straight ahead.